Hey guys, Badger here. Today I'm going to show you how to install .NET Framework 3.5 on Windows 10, as it only comes out with .NET Framework 4.5 or 4.6, which is not backwards compatible with older applications which require that framework. Now there are two methods to do this, there's an online and an offline installation, as I have had some requests from people asking me how to install .NET Framework 3.5 using offline only, as not all of them always have internet connections. Okay, so let's get started. Now to do the old school online uh, installation, you can just go to your start menu. You can type in control. Ooh, it help if I spell right. Open that up. Go to programs. Turn Windows features on or off. And you should see it here. Now if you select it and you say OK, it will actually start downloading, provided you have your Windows updates enabled. And since this is Windows 10, Windows updates are always enabled, which can get annoying. Now in a future video, I will show you guys how to actually disable Windows updates. Okay, so I'm going to cancel that. Now if you have an ISO image file, you can just double click to mount it. Or if you have your DVD, you can put it in now. Now, once that's in, and you go to Sources, and you type in Install. If you have an install.esd file, you will actually get an error doing this. Uh, using the batch file that I will provide in the description. Um, now, if you want to convert this to WIM, which will work with the batch file, you can watch one of my previous videos of how to convert ESD to WIM files. Now, I do have another version that actually does have uh, WIM. Let me just open it, go to Sources, Install. There you go, install the WIM. So this one should work. Now if we close this and we just double click the batch file, you'll see it's found the, the drive and it is now installing .NET Framework 3.5. Now if you have any issues and so on, please don't hesitate to contact me. Um, I will do my best to reply to each and every comment. And I will also put the, the actual internal contents of the batch file in the description so that you can see there's nothing funny going on there. And that should basically be it. Now this will take a few seconds to a few minutes depending on your system and how fast it is and that type of story as it is quite a big file to install. It's around about 300-400 megabytes and as normal guys like if you liked the video, dislike it if you didn't. I really don't mind. I understand it's your opinion and if you guys want more you know just subscribe. I think you get the idea, but in any case, let's just finish it up. Like I said, this can take a few minutes. And there you go, guys. The operation has completed successfully. Um, .NET Framework should be installed. Press any key to continue. And you can just close this. And there you go. All of your older applications which require .NET Framework 3.5 should now be able to run perfectly. Okay, guys. Enjoy.